the soccer team, you know, look the people that support that team. They die for the team. You know, they die for the players, you know, and this is something I never found a, a toothpaste or a car able to get this kind of relationship, right? So if you love somebody, it like for example, soccer team will be forever. And you teach to your you know child to do the same. Don't tell me you know the reality because the reality is not something about the material stuff, is a mind, is about you know the, another level. Today, we have the pleasure to speak with Lorenzo Marini, the CEO and creative director of Lorenzo Marini Group, one of the leading creative agencies internationally. Besides having worked with the biggest advertising agencies and top companies in the world, he's also an artist and an author. In his career as an art director, Lorenzo has received over 500 awards in Italy and internationally, including the Lyon d'Or at the Cannes International Advertising Festival. You might have guessed it, the main topics of today's talk are creativity, flexibility, and innovation. Lorenzo, welcome and thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here with you. You know, I'm happy to talk with about creativity every day because creativity is part of our life. It has to be. Great. Uh, before we start, would you be so kind and give our audience your version of a brief background about you? I want to be honest. I, I try to keep everything simple. So when I was young, I always had a dream to work in creativity. For me, there is no difference to write a book, to compose a song or, you know, uh, the lyrics, I mean, or to paint uh, landscape. For me, it's the same as just, a, let's say, expression of the soul. So I wanted to be in creativity. And, you know, I'm, I'm, when I was young, advertising was the most creative side side of the world so that's why I, I decided to go deep into the, that field i studied I thought, yeah and, go uh, ahead yeah. I make uh, some you know art school but you know it's not about the kind of school you have it's about your goal your vision what you want to be and they want to be creative you know in everything i do even if i cook pasta i try to add all every time something new you know i try to to be creative, not just to 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 be, you can't be creative only when you work. You have to be creative in anything you do. The way you see things, the way you see the city, the building, you know, the painting, the, the way you prepare a coffee has to be creative. Lorenzo, how do painting and novels go together with running a business? Hmm. First of all, writing is the first discovering because I discovered that words are very important. You know, you can make revolution with words. If you see all the revolution start with the sentence, even Jesus Christ, even Karl Marx, you know, we started with the sentence. So words are very important. Now, in this last, last let's say five, 10 days, the words are very less important. People care about image. See the history of logos. See the thing we see, the Apple, the swatch of Nike, the typography disappear because we, co we consider image much more, much more important than, than words. And also man doesn't keep the promise they, they do. So uh, words less, more and more meaning. Um, so for me, the first part was discovering the importance of word. And now I'm leaving the um, revolution of the image because the image represents the image itself. The brand, let's say every man has become a brand. So we are, because the website, the TikTok, the social media, we become a brand. And so the brands talk with the, you know, um, the illustration part of the, you know, the storytelling. So that's why we combine music and action and, and TikTok 
has now more successful if you compare with the Twitter, because Twitter is just, you know, worse. Then Facebook put together. Then Instagram, just, you know, pictures, images, and then TikTok that makes the image more animated. So we have to deal with word and, and image. If you think advertising is about image and words, every billboard, every, every ads you see, every commercial, you have to, you need words and images but creation and running a business somehow require different mindsets or different correct. approaches correct how can a leader combine the two in your view okay you know why we are i think we didn't realize exactly the story of adam and eve if you see our body we are make in two sides. Even the brand has made in two sides, Adam and Eve, the rational part and the emotional. So because we didn't go deep into, we consider men and women in, uh, like if the women are Eve and the men are Adam, but this is wrong. We both are female and, 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 and masculine inside. You know what I mean? So depend the, the kind of part of the brain are you using. Just to give an example, when I studied architecture, I realized that I, I did something in between uh, engineering and literature. So I put all of them together, even advertising. You have to work with the science, rational side, you know, the briefing, the market share, the rational side, and then you jump into the new, into the instinct, which is the even part, the, which is the emotional side. So when you combine all of them, then you can work perfectly in a, you know in a, in both way. I I went just I came back from LA. I, I used to live there, and I heard a speech from a Zen monk, you know, about yoga. And they say the yoga work exactly in that um, area, in that street, in that uh, in that part of the brain between the two sides. Isn't it interesting? Because when you live in harmony, then you combine both. Unfortunately, the West culture we sh we divide. Even if you you know if you go to school and then you learn to say, oh, these are good, these are bad, and every every man is good and bad. You know, every man, every piano has a different, you know, um, way to be sung. To be sung. Let's let's make an, another example. When you come to Italy, you have primo, which is the main course, then secondo, which is you know the, the usually vegetable and meat. But there is no difference because at the end it, the food is one. But unfortunately, we still you know put the position we share, you know, you go to the train, then you have business class, economy, smart, because human beings like to divide. But if you see a tree, there is no difference between the roof, you know, the, 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 and, the, and, the, and, the, and the trunk and the leaves and the flower. In nature, everything is one. So I think we have to come back and realize that we are one. When talking about creativity in a company, mm -hmm. we are talking about which levels of the company? What what company challenges in general are you observing in relation to creativity? Okay. The 99% of time, the company need to sell. To sell product, you have to be seductive. If you inform, this is just, you know, uh, about this rational side, but we buy with the emotional side. That's why the snake, in order to sell the apple, talk with Eve and not with Adam. You remember when the snake said, try to eat this apple, you become like God. Everybody, everybody wants to be like God, especially with the big ego, you know, <laughs> it's me, it's me. And so um, the company asked us, how can I sell more? And the answer we did, you know, the advertising people say, told the people a story. So the storytelling is the way to be more interesting, more seductive. Don't say buy, because buy is your need. 
tell a story. And then it's the same when we try to have friends. You don't have to you know, conquer the friend because you are powerful, because you are the king, but you have to love them. And the more you love them, the more they give you back. So at the end of the day, we try to sell emotional. We, we Emotional side, at, at the end of the day, we try to be pleasant, to be engaged, to tell something new. And the new is this product, it could be like your friend. Don't choose this product because you know the mathematic or the rational side, but choose this product as you choose your friend because they are close to you because they talk your your languages. So this is very important because you know we use the rational side to conquer the emotional side, and this is very important. So at the end of the day, we need to be creative to sell better. So your I, I imagine your philosophy that underpins your creative process when you're working with clients is think about the rational and emotional side and create from the product to the correct correct the most important thing is to find inside and if you think the inside is like a soul you know, if you see a person, every every human being, we look like we are, we are just a body, but we're not because inside there is a mind which controls the body. So we can say mind is much more powerful than the body, right? The new doctor, the future will be that we we don't care, we don't we don't just focus on the hill in the the, the, the problem, but with the cancer, everything, but we try to work with the mind you know with the personality then we discover that who control the mind is the soul so this we are the we are much more than the body same for the brand you love the brand that they are close to you so we try to um yeah to discover the root let's say and when you have some something common let's just to give an example <clears throat> the soccer team you know Look, the people that support that team, they die for the team. You know, they die for the players, you know? And it's something, I never found a, a toothpaste or a car able to get this kind of relationship, right? So if you love somebody, it like, for example, a soccer team will be forever. And you teach to your you know child to do the same. And, you know, brands are so low because we didn't find the root. We didn't find the common point. Um, one month ago, I met a, um, a nice company, very nice company. Uh, they sell um, fried, I mean, um, French fry, patatine, French fries. Yeah, the chips, let's say, the chips. And the last commercial was to explain they were made with potato. But when people buy chips, they don't even know about potato. They don't care. You are going to buy happiness. You are going to buy escape from your daily duty. You are going to, you know, to buy a different story. Don't tell me, you know, the reality because the reality is not something about the material stuff. It's a mind. It's about, you know, the, another level, another concept, another word. Isn't it funny? We produce things, but we have to tell another stories about the things we produce. When the company decides, okay, we are going to build a brand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably it's not enough just to say that, right? <laughs> not enough. <laughs> where, do, where do you start and how do you continue to become a brand? Okay, the first question is for who? Okay. But you can please everybody. You can please somebody, you know, some time to, you know, a lot of people, or you, you can please a lot of time for some, for few people, but you can do both, right? So for who, with, which kind of promise are you telling them? Which kind of stories are you, you know, going to tell them? And why? Because, you know, the point is that we know a lot of time how, sometime, you know, the majority of time, what? Sometimes how, but few of time we know why. So we have to go deep in into that problem. Why am I close to you? Apple did it. And you buy Apple just because it's Apple, not because the product. 
you don't even care and buy this kind of product, then you become a, a, a brand ambassador. So like Jesus, he chose the apostle, he, he, the brand need you know, to find the ambassador, which are different from the, from the um, let's say, uh, Instagrammer or, you know, the, the testimonial or the, you know, the, the, uh, this kind of people, because everybody knows that you pay them to talk well about you. So you have to find, you know, something common. And then <clears throat> the second question is for, for how long does it take? And the third, how, money, how much money do you have? Try to imagine to build the brand of the Pope. See, all the priests are wearing black and the Pope is wearing white. He is totally different, the way he acts, the way, you know, not this Pope, you know, the Pope. And it took centuries to build a brand personality for the Pope. Same for Coca-Cola. Every country I visit, we have a special, let's say, kind of local Coke. But there is just one only Coke for the planet. So this is a, what we can say big brand feeling. And the Coke... At Christmas, they don't make commercial to say drink Coke. They commercial, they make commercial to say, enjoy your Christmas, happy Christmas. So you are big when you don't try to sell every time everything. Isn't it nice? It is, it is. You have explained a bit of a classical or even eternal brands right now. But for a common company that wants to break through, yeah, do you have any approaches for them yeah how to overtake the industry trends in terms of design uh, design and branding okay and, and then after overtaking the, the the competition how to stay ahead yeah the first point is what is your point of difference you know because if you are a follower then it takes many many years to get the point if you are small means that you are not the big one. So in order to be different, you have to be disruptive. You can you can do things that every every everybody else does. You know, you have to do you know different things in a different way. So in other terms, you have to um oblige you. You have to, you have to um create a motto in your mind that allowed you to be different in everything you do. Even the Christmas time, you know, if you have, if you want to be different, send me a Christmas time at Easter, you know, break the rule, be different. Because in this case, I can remember you because our mind is full of brand. You know, the, the last Nielsen research said that we have in our mind, we know 3000 brands. And when I thought to myself, I said, I don't, I don't know 3,000 brand, but then I started to write down all the toothpaste, all the you know wheels, all the car, all the shampoos. And then at the end of the day, you see how many brands do I know? For a new brand that comes, an old one have to leave the place because you have, there are no space for every. It's like the Maldive island, you know? For a new island, some, some other island have to disappear. And so that's why it's important to get one position in in the customer mind in the in a, yeah in, a, yeah, in the client mind you know and to have a position means you have to be different how many kind of jeans do you know and they are all the same so it's not about the jeans not about the product but it's about the storytelling it's about how you want to be different and you know i tell you it's much more interest to work with small brand because the big one have to maintain you know coca-cola say the same since 100 years ago red the color is red the concept is happiness and the shape is the bottle even if they, they, they bring you you know they print the glass in paper they they print over the shape of the you know bottle even they sell cam even they shell other kind of shape, but the shape is the glass bottle, the iconic one. And they had to repeat, see, Tiffany, they choose the turquoise because the turquoise, but then they become the, your own color, like Hermes with the orange, like you know Chanel with black and white. Try to imagine Chanel designed the Chanel number no. five, you know, the, 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 the perfume, the eau de toilette, Chanel number no. five in 1929. 
and they never change. You know, the white with the black square. Try to find a successful company that never change. For every new marketing director that arrive, they change company claim, you know, packaging, everything. So the you want if you want to become an icon, you have to have some fixed point. Okay? Know that you'll be the same forever. You have worked with many globally renowned companies, brands. How did you build and how do you keep nurturing your relationships with them? There are two aspects. One, you have to know the society, the change. For example, I designed during the 80 Fanta, the, the can. And at that time, no one cared about, you know, sustainability, the naturality or, you know, the green aspect. Nobody cared. So we redesigned in terms of cartoons. At that time, the, the songs that we love was made by Duran Duran, the gel, you know, the shape of the, the dress. Then during the 90, I redid in a totally different, different way because we started to care about new age, do, no more Duran Duran, but Enya, no more, you know, rucola, but yogurt. And, and so I put the real orange in Fanta. Because not because Fanta changed, Fanta never changed, but changed the, the way we perceive the soft drink. So the most important thing is to see how we change in terms of you know um, behavior in terms of lifestyle. And the second one is don't go, don't stay with people on your say in the same field. Don't go out with the creative, don't go out with art director and creative director. Talk with the chef, talk with the musician, talk with the artist, go out, look for fresh blood. If not, your body, you know, in our bodies, the circulation is always, you know, full of the old blood. So go out, uh, talk with different people because then you mix the culture, you know. Well, what I can call, you know, the let's say creative pollution. You have to be like a bee and you change the kind of flower. Don't stay always on the same, you know, apple tree or apple, you know, the same trees. Go out and, and learn. And then you give. The more you receive, the more you give. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Is there a fine balancing act between the artistic expression and practical needs of a business in your view? The needs of the business is always the same. Please we want to uh, sell more. To do that, we have to be recognizable. We have to have personality. We have to, you know, work in, in, a, in, a, in, in a way people remember us. Same for the brand. See, Giorgio Armani, he never changed the blue t-shirt. Pope never changed the white. And uh, Woody Allen, he never changed the, the glasses. I mean, he has money enough to change, but you need to be recognizable. In terms of art, is the same. You, as an artist, you want to work and 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 make experiment. But the galleries, the art dealer, they would like you to do always the same. If you say, if I say you Fontana, then you you know, you you come it come out on your mind the cut, you know. But he did so many works and so many interesting things. But at the end of the day, same for the singer. If I, for every singer, I can come out with the name, then you, you can associate one or two songs, no more. Because our mind is simple. So in other words, you have to be recognizable to be because you are always the same. But in other words, you have to amplify you research you know you experiment so you have to be happy to change every time but at the end of the day people remember you because you did a couple of things it's it happened for Andy Warren it happened for you know for even for Leonardo he did so many things but then at the end of the day people remind the Joconda and even he was a genius one of the biggest you know so it's uh, because at the end remain you know Something that people is easy for for people easy to re, to remind and to go back to the same, 
That's why we have the habit. And habit could be the best friend as the worst enemy. Because the habit can help you, you know, to good to keep the good, but also you don't move too much if you remain, if you repeat the same act. So you have to balance. Be a wise. You remember Tarzan when he say, half of me is a, um, a noble. The other half is a wild man from the yeah. Could you point out a few examples of uh, implementation of successful digital marketing and design strategies of your clients? Okay. One of the last um, that, that allowed us to make something new, for example, was the Galleria Borghese. Galleria Borghese is one of the best uh, well-known museum Barocco worldwide. And they say there is a space, no space, like every museum at the beginning. What can we do? to please people. Well, um, I thought, well, see, the, the when you see, when you go to the concert, you want to see the singer play the same music that you know. You don't want to listen to the new pieces, right? You want to see him like a kind of huge karaoke. So we bring part of the piece of you know art and we print the digital um, um, fresco. You know, they, show the way, even to go to the restroom, even to go to the, the bookshop, even to go to the information desk. And so we try to play with the, you know, with the sacred piece of art and, and and people take a picture and people, you know, they like to see at the beginning what they are going to see after. So it's the best way to make an installation, it's the best way to uh, create something new. The, the campaign we do now are both digital and, and classic. There is no more the print campaign. Campaign because the media are digital and print. So we we have to deal. You know, I think is the, the digital people create some uh, the let's say totally unreal uh, through because everything has you know to get the point to, to make a digital. Then if you print, you go the step ahead. If you stop, you are just on the digital way. So the digital is about medium, medium because the ideas are not digital or analogic or, you know, if, if you are looking for an idea, it doesn't matter if you are looking for an idea that goes to, you, to your mobile or to the television or YouTube. Ideas are ideas and you always play with music, first of all, words and images always and i say music first because we make a survey and what the customer like more is about music what do you remember of the commercial first of all music second image third word if you see the the way the client the average client work is what we can say what is the slogan what is the motto what is the company you know claim and they talk about a lot about word and too few about music and they pay, they spend, especially in Italy, a lot of money for the testimonial, for the actor, for, you know, the brand ambassador. Once, if they use, the, if they spend this money for music, they can have much more because music comes into the soul. It goes deep into your feeling. You know, you can cry for music, you can laugh with certain kind of music, much more than a face. What do you think about uh, the text to image large language models? And uh, where can you place the AI services in your operations? Okay. In the, in the future. It's a nice question because um, I think the, the, clever, the clever side of artificial intelligence is the name. Because artificial is true, but intelligence is not true. It's a huge memories. So if you use the huge global memories, it's fantastic because you can have answer in a such, I try to imagine the lawyer studio in America, try to imagine with AI, they, they can add immediately everything. So you save money, you save time. So you save time, then you save money. For us, it's different because it's the fantastic when you have to know something, but the AI, the global memory, you know, the huge, artificial intelligence, let's say, it can say why, 
So it can reproduce the brain of the mind of the mankind. So it can help us to illustrate the concept. It can we used to say, well, let's I'm gonna have, you know, the last the last presentation, we had a glasses house and we need to, you know, put people inside to show they dance. In this way, the, the AI helps you about how, but never why. So it's the best you know, instrument for now to help us how, but they will never come out with an answer. Because if you ask to intelligence artificial, the AI, how can it conquer? They copy this Giulio Cesare or Napoleon or Hitler or the, the, you know, the, the best warrior, you know, the best of the people, but the Cavallo di Troia, the Troia, you know, the horses, it come out from, uh, you know, a, a different way to see. And I was just in, in Los Angeles two, two weeks ago and I read a nice point about the New York Times. He refused to give all the information to AI. And New York Times, the journal, all the articles are the most uh, controlled and double check article. So if this kind of you know, huge information doesn't have you know, possibility to go to the best, you know, article to the best information. I don't know if we're still sure that all the information uh, we can get are the perfect. So we have to work. We are not ready to do everything with AI. At some point, uh, do you envision AI to become part of your company's operations or not really? At the beginning, yes because the analysis and the synthesis, not for creativity for now. They, AI can help us and we use just to explain the way we want to visualize, but not the ideas, not ready yet. Many companies nowadays think hard about incorporating sustainability and environmental responsibility into design and also branding solutions. What general approach would you advise to them in order to avoid being accused of empty virtue signaling or even greenwashing? Now, if you see all the websites for every company, they talk about sustainability. The problem is that majority of time it's greenwashing. Majority of time people, a company doesn't believe. You know, they make a survey in America asking if the shape of the glass of the bottle the glass will be smaller thinner would you buy would you prefer this one instead of the other one and you know the answer for selling are not so strong i mean we would like in theory but then in practical you know it takes time to change because it just started to me in many many times there are you know many many ways i see greenwashing of course what i think we have to change because you know we have to become we have to realize that we are living in a unique planet the nation they start united nation america where we just started to make united station of europe but the beginning at the end we have to make united state of the world we have to deal it there is no way we have to exchange the best the, you know the con the concept of nation is so old if you see the future we can't work anymore. We can't see things like we did for centuries. And the, the future is so close to come. We have to change. And in a kind of, let's say, a couple a couple of generations, the new generation, things change so quickly. See how we perceive, you know, the, the way we perceive ourselves for century has to be done in from top, they control the law. Now the law are growing and it takes, let's say, 50, 100 years to change totally. But of course, we have to work hard for the, and I hope, I, I'm full of hope for the new generation. How do you personally manage uh, the dual responsibilities of running your business and ma maintaining a strong creative vision for your agency? Okay, my agency, Okay, let's say the closest thing to the agency I found is the restaurant. Same business model. The restaurant are made by 
uh, chef, I mean the 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 um, chef and the maitre. So these are the two you know key point person. You you go to the restaurant because the the quality of food, the creativity, and because the service. You know because you want to be treated well. You want to choose the, the variety of wine. Same for the agency. The agency too much, let's say, account oriented are bored. The the agents too much, you know, crazy oriented because the you know the creative director doesn't make money. So you have to balance both. You remember at the beginning of the interview when I say we have to work well with the Adam and Eve side. We have to make good business. But if you let's go back to the restaurant, they the restaurant they make always every day the same food, spaghetti with pomodoro or pizza they get bored right and if you are too far from the daily life like the, some creative full of star chef you are too far it is not a nice example you have to balance them and i think the harmony is a uh, key for the success to me i try to go to create to read creative books to go to the cinema, to talk with the young people. You know, you you are old when you start to think you are old. You are tired when you feel tired. If you are full of curiosity for life, you. I, my example is Picasso. When he was 85 years old, he say, it takes many, many years to become young. And he painted, you know, with the Mickey Mouse t-shirt with yellow pants, you know, he was an, an, a good example how to be creative until the last day of our life. Could you point out to the main memorable success stories and particularly challenging projects that helped shape Lorenzo Marini Group's reputation? Well, at the beginning, well, because after you know, working with Armando Testa, Ogilvy, Leo Burnett, you know, many, many agencies, at that time, they used to call you every few months to offer, you know, money and, you know, client. So when I opened my agency it was 25 years ago and I wanted to be good for luxury brand. So that's why I started with, you know, yacht, cashmere, fashion. And the first year we were point out, out to please this kind of people. Then, you know, you realize that fashion is quite boring. And of course, I launched Fila. What was was my fine club? Fila for you know worldwide campaign. But then I realized that real people are not in a niche. Real people is everywhere. So I started to accept food um, brands, and it was much more fun for me because you have to deal with wine, oil, bread, biscuit. And then when you have to change, you know, the shape of the biscuit, the shape of the packaging, the shape. So uh, I change reputation because now when in Italy, food is very important. Well, it's important for everybody, but we, we are good in making food. So if you are good to make food, you have to be good to, to, you know, to sell food. And then I, you know, work with cheese. And this was much funny, you know, then yacht and luxury items so i changed my mind at the beginning uh, uh, were let's say easier to work for jeans and to be you know, disruptive but then i happy when people they make chocolate and they make olive oil they make you know uh, this kind of stuff call us because it's more difficult to talk with real people with real brand so let's say we have you know a good example for Tavernello, we changed the reputation because people they didn't think they wasn't even real wine. You know, the, the, the way they perceive oil, you know, all oil was a you know, mystic uh, ingredient, even for miracle, you know, 200, 2000 years ago. Then uh, same for cheese, same for, you know, chocolate. Then, you know, I'm proud to be able to tell new stories for old, old products. Because try to imagine sugar, honey. We always, you know, um, um, eat this kind of food. The, the, the most one I think is to how people perceive. So it's about perception. We don't work in reality. We work in perception. The way you see my product. 
I remember once in New York, we launched Rigoni di Asiago. He makes such a good chocolate, better than Nutella. And he, for him, you know, the enemy was Nutella because he said, I'm, I could be the organic alternative of Nutella. But we say, listen, America, they don't even know what Nutella knows because they grow up with peanut butter. So we have the, the best alternative choice they know. Yummy and, and a fantastic alternative of, you know, Nutella, which is the peanut, I mean, the peanut butter alternative. So which is, you know, your choices. I remember once came Loacker in America and they say, why people doesn't eat too much our waffle? Well, because you still have chocolate change the shape in peanut butter he disappeared and five years later i see the peanut butter wolf and they of course they never pay me for this suggestion so one of the things i learned is never give you know suggestion or advice for free just send a voice or don't or stay silent <laughs> <laughs> the last question what do you envision as the future of uh, the creative and branding industry? And what do you envision for Lorenzo Marini Group's future? The first part of the question is very complicated, it's a very huge one. I think communication will be more and more important because the product will be always the same. We started to see you know, all the tuna fish are the same. So tell me another way the packaging, the name, the color, you know, the, you know, the product will be all the same. The tomato sauce, the pasta, you know, it's very, will be more and more difficult, like jeans, like we, we say before. Uh, so the communication will be more important. Uh, of course, we'll, be, we'll see some change, you know, paper will disappear, but the way we we will look for the news will disappear, we change, you know, try to imagine, you know, the old way, you know, well, well, to go to the, you know, to, to buy the newspaper and to see the old news from, you know, the day before, you know, and you have to pay once you, you can get for free, you wake up and it, so we change a lot. But um, for us, we think we're gone back to when centuries ago when the company used to ask to the artist come out with some ideas and believe it or not one cent one centuries ago david de campari called um the futuristic uh, um fortunato de pero he said can you draw me a bottle and the peter campari bottle has been designed by fortunato de pero and if you see now vuitton Chanel, all the new brands are asking to the artists some ideas. Means that the marketing, all the rules are, you know, old, or let's say old blood in circulation. So they come back to the, you know, the uh, um, artist. Uh, it's happened to me. I had, a, I've been pitched by Swatch, for example, and Iris Ceramica. It is one, is one of the big factory in ceramic and they came to me and said oh maybe they asked for a campaign no more campaign no more social no more can you make a, a capsule with your letter for our ceramic floor see probably the way we will change it we become no more lorenzo Marini group but lorenzo Marini lab a lab in which you can get some fresh ideas because people will look for idea more and more you know why because idea brings money Money doesn't bring any ideas. Lorenzo Marini, thanks so much again for the great talk and for your time. And I hope to talk to you soon again. I love you. And that's why we have fun. Great. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao.